Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through clustering with categorical attributes, guys. Okay, yes. So let us start. So basically, what are categorical attributes, guys? So which are having some various properties, right? So basically, something like hair color. So few hair color might be blonde, few hair color might be white, black, brown. pink any kind of colors also they are keeping right yes so here we are having multiple values right yes so if you try to store these in the database and if you want to convert them into binary or to do clustering it is really really complex guys okay so here we took an example and we converted them into binary coded guys so because binary coded will be easy right yes so basically when we think of clustering we need numerical type so even binary also we need numbers right basically to do perform clustering because we will be plotting points of x and y right so to get the graph and you will be forming this clusters right yes so basically when we think of clustering we need numerical values but if we want to perform for categorical values it is not possible because those are some letters or words you can say so here in terms of whether we are having sunny cloudy and rainy so how are we going to represent them guys it is impossible right yes so that is the reason why we follow some coding methods okay so our first goal will be to convert these categorical attributes into numerical values before using them so few of the popular methods which we are going to see today are one hot encoding scheme okay so basically this is the most simplest method you can say okay yes so whatever is your weather like here are told sunny cold and rainy right so based on your weather so basically in first day it is sunny sunny cold rain rain so how you are going to represent is you will be writing in terms of matrix you can say so yes c r so based on its presence so basically here yes is there so it is one so r c and r are not there so it is zero so in that way so based on the presence so wherever it is there you will be placing ones and rest zeros so this is the c simple hot, one hot encoding scheme okay so the second type is a dummy coding okay so here instead of having a separate columns for each and every one so basically here indirectly you have intimated or you have increased right so previously it was a single column but now it became three columns right so which is a bit tough so now a simple version of it is nothing but a dummy coding or effect coding scheme okay in dummy coding you will remove one of its row uh, column guys so it might be s it might be c it might be r so instead of placing a ones there in the rest of the places you will place zero so basically here how can i say okay how can i say that yes and yes are true here so basically if both are zero indirectly yes is present guys in that way we are going to identify got it yes so when c is there you will be placing at c's place 1 if r are there r place 1 got it yes similarly in effective code instead of zeros you will place minus 1 in dot places so this is effective coding scheme got it these are quite simple guys there is nothing to solve or nothing to identify it is just your understanding okay yes so let us continue okay so hence once we got the categorical data to numerical numerical data we can perform else if we want okay so based on your requirement you can perform them but sometimes you will end up having multiple columns right so assume that you are trying for pin code guys so uh, okay so pin code will not be a good idea because it's already a number right yes so assume it you are writing for states okay so we are having multiple states in india if you take some us or somewhere there are even hundreds of states in a single country right yes so that is the reason why even in that situation so we will be ending up with too many columns so 100 columns instead of one column which is having 100 different state entries you are now having 100 different columns for each and every state so in this situation you are indirectly wasting a data right so you are having multiple dimensions of your data so in this place you will be using some dimension reduction method like pca or lda so any one of them you will use and you will solve guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this clustering with categorical attributes right yes so So after that we are having a small concept which is comparison guys so there is nothing much to explain in this comparison so it is just the time complexity and space complexity comparison between the algorithms which we have learned so basically we gone through kme kme dot cure and db scan right so these both are partial and this is these two are mixed okay so the time complexity you can remember them okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea about the whole subject right as this is the last lecture okay yes so in the next lecture let us go through the review of this unit and we'll be back with some other subject soon Thank you. Thanks for watching.